As many times as I've been to China, I always end up coming back again. This time, I wanted to be sure to visit the ancient city of Xi'an. One of the most interesting things to me about this city is its large population of Muslims. There's an entire vibrant Muslim quarter that you can explore, as well as the largest mosque in China. I want to thank ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. They're the VPN that I personally use and have used for years, so I highly recommend them to you guys. ExpressVPN encrypts your IP address so that your connection is always secure and unrestricted. For example, you could turn on your location to wherever you want, let's say on a video streaming service, and see content from all around the world that might not be offered in your country. And keeping your information safe online is also, of course, super important for anyone who uses the internet. Right now, with my link, you guys can get three months free on a 12-month package. Just click the link in the description to get three months free. Good morning, guys. So right now, I am walking on the Muslim street. There is so much going on here. This area of the city historically was where uh, there was a lot of Muslim trading going on and now it's mostly for food but um, there's there's so much interesting food here and just, it's just like really busy and so much going on and all of the food smells so good and it's really pretty so yeah let's go see it's here. Muslim Street is the busiest area of the Muslim Quarter. The little shops and cafes sell all sorts of things, but all of them are owned by Muslims. The area is best known for its street food. Since the area is Muslim, there's no pork or alcohol products sold here. Xi'an is one of the oldest cities in China. It is one of the few cities in the world with a history spanning 5,000 years. It has been the capital of 13 different empires and was once the largest city in the world. It is now home to over 12 million inhabitants. It's funny walking through the Muslim quarter because I'm seeing a lot of things that it's it's actually such a strange feeling. I'm seeing a lot of things that are reminding me a little bit of markets that I would go to in Egypt or Morocco, but it's all in Chinese writing. It's just a really cool combination that I have not seen before. So yeah, so far I think it's my favorite thing about Xi'an. Okay, right now I am in search of something that I was really excited to see here in Xi'an. Um, I'm walking through these little like residential alleyways right now that are super narrow and still bikes are passing by I'm looking for the great mosque which speaking of I've just found 
The Great Mosque is the largest mosque in China. It was built in 742 and is still in use today. Take that evil and bury it in a permanent grave. I know these lives are not. mosque has a big part to play in the reason why there is a strong Muslim community in Xi'an to this day. Xi'an was a very powerful stop along the Silk Road. Some people considered it the, either the end or the starting point of the Silk Road and the city was gaining a lot of wealth through that. Because they wanted the traders to establish business and continue trading in their city, they built this mosque for them to worship in. Some of these Muslim Silk Road traders ended up staying in Xi'an and marrying local women and uh, that is kind of the beginnings. That's the prayer hall in there. As I think you can obviously see, uh, this mosque is definitely very Chinese in style. It actually feels like a temple that you would find in China. There are so many halls and buildings and gardens here, so there's a lot to see. It's not just um, one building. For Muslims, it is free entrance. For everyone else, it is 25 yuan. And I definitely recommend that you come and check it out because I think that it just kind of draws together the whole atmosphere of Xi'an, that it's this medieval city and also has this amazing blend of cultures, particularly Muslim Chinese culture. Um, here is another sign in Arabic and English and Chinese. There's a saying about this city. If you want to explore 1,000 years of history in China, go to Beijing. But if you want to discover 5,000 years of history in China, go to Xi'an. All these millenniums stacked on top of each other. In a place like this, there's something about seeing people in their daily lives. Traditional meals being cooked by hand. Lovers kissing in the shadows of medieval walls. A grandmother showing her granddaughter the park she played in as a child. Things that this city's residents have been doing for thousands of years. Then, of course, there's the most famous thing about Xi'an. The Terracotta Warriors. The Terracotta Army is made up of around 8,000 soldiers, as well as many other figures, such as 670 Terracotta Horses. The figures are life-sized, and no two are the same. It all started when a 13-year-old boy 
named Qin Shi Huang, unexpectedly became king in 246 BC. He spent his youth on war campaigns to other states, and at the age of 38, he brought all of them together to unify China for the first time. During his reign as emperor, he joined city walls together to form the Great Wall of China, built an enormous road system, and even made war illegal. He was obsessed with the idea of living forever and frantically tried countless methods to achieve immortality. Meanwhile, the construction of the Terracotta Army and the Emperor's eventual burial site had begun decades ago, when he was still just a teenager new to the throne. Ironically, he ended up dying due to taking pills for immortal life that ended up being Mercury. He was buried with the army in an enormous necropolis that extends 38 square miles. Today, his tomb remains unopened. Yet another integral part of Xi'an are the city walls. One of the most popular activities when visiting is walking or biking on top of them. The walls date back to the Middle Ages, but the original walls were built in 195 BC and enclosed a much larger area. Guys, look, right now it is the Lantern Festival and this is on the wall. This is so beautiful. It goes for so far, just a path of lanterns and the light is so pretty. This is so cool. Okay, so this Lantern Festival is really cool, but I'm not filming really a lot of it because the lights on camera are flickering like crazy. Even to my eye, they're flickering, and I just think that looks really headache-inducing on camera. Okay, I have found the historic area of the wall. There are all of these red lanterns lighting up the way, and he's come to say hello. Hello. <laughs> Do you still see? Bell and Drum Towers, two towers within walking distance of each other, have been landmarks at the heart of Xi'an for centuries. In medieval times, 
The bells would ring out across the city every day at sunrise. Okay, I am at the drum tower now and I think already I like it a little bit more because there's all of these drums and some of them are so big and just seeing them like this you can really imagine like all of these drums they must have been so loud every night and must have been just so atmospheric and I don't think they ever play them anymore but that would be really cool. Just as the bells were rung each morning, the beating of drums at this tower would occur every sunset, signaling the end of another day in Xi'an.